Right here with the sign in the back. Hi. I know. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations on at least making it to the final four. Oh, I appreciate I appreciate your patronage. <laughs> so, tell us. All the fans want to know how you were chosen to be on Survivor. I a uh, super fan. Honestly, I've seen. I think I skipped Fiji, and I'm told I didn't miss much. But about mm -hmm. past, I've seen every episode. Long time fan, and uh, I applied as soon as I turned 21. That was the age when I turned 21. That's, I applied. I didn't get it, and uh, I reapplied a few years later, and was uh, lucky enough to get it. But um. I was gonna say, I've, and this question's come up before. I'm so glad I didn't get it the first time. I wouldn't have been ready, like in my like. I'm too young and cocky. And I'd been, I'd have been Pete if I was out there right now. If I was out there, or we're cookies, like, or yeah, or, or I, I refuse to say I would have been cookies. But uh, um, yeah, I applied uh, two time two time applicant. Got me on the show. What what was different between your first and your second application? Uh, I think. I think so. The first time I applied, I found out I would have been, it would have been the original fans versus favorites, uh, uh, and I think Eric Reichenbach did uh, stupid young kid better than I was doing it, and that's so uh, that's why I didn't end up getting it. Um, but uh, I think in the second one, I was a, I was a different person. I mean, three years in the real world, uh, I had a ton of life experience. I was in Micronesia for a year, and now I'm like you know supporting myself. I'm not like just some cocky ass frat kid like from uh, you know an Ivy League school. So it was a uh, it was really, I'm very fortunate that they didn't put me out there right away because I might not have come up nearly as positive as I've been uh, looking for. Was there a big difference in how you portrayed yourself in the video that you submitted? Yeah. I mean, I think I probably came off as more mature. I don't know. It's really, and I get the, you get the question, like, what, what should we do to get on the show? Be yourself. You know where I'm going. Yes. Be yourself on two cups of coffee and two shots of tequila. That's that, a nice variation. Yeah, that's, okay. that's how I would describe it. Just the most excited, kind of out there version of yourself. So, what did you do to prepare yourself? I uh, I trained hard. I lost you know a good 10, 15 pounds. And the thought was, well, first of all, I'm vain. I want to look good on TV. But uh, uh, the idea was, that all these guys gain weight, so they have the excess energy. I was thought I'd get my metabolism down. Uh, so the hunger didn't hit me. Now I might not have more fuel, but I don't need as much fuel. So I lost a lot of weight. I worked out like cardio, regular like, weightlifting, stuff like that. Didn't swim a lot. I've always just been a decent swimmer. And there's late, lately, there hasn't been a lot of water challenges. And of course, the season I go, they start doing them again. Um, so I didn't swim a lot, but uh, yeah, just a lot of uh, physical training and then reading. I've read Machiavelli's The Prince, Art of War. Like I was reading every strategy book, like ever the uh, what's that Five Rings thing. I skimmed through that. Uh, just about any strategy book out there for like military tactics was uh, on the night. And now, any recommendations from that that you you want to pass on to the fans? Uh, any of that help you? It absolutely. I'm like thinking of things I remember reading from like these like strategy masters from uh, you know centuries ago. Things that like are just applied directly. They even said that in the season in China, they gave them like Art of War. Like that stuff, uh, it really does apply. Like I'll be sitting out there and like one of those lines will pop into my head on how like you could handle a situation. I would absolutely recommend, uh, you know, do your homework. Just do your homework. Don't go out there and not know what's going on. If you're a fan of the show, you're already going to do that. Do your homework. Get ready for it. You know you're going. You have time to prepare. Did you hurt yourself? We saw you. It was like your leg was bandaged there at the end. Yeah, it didn't really uh, make the story so much of the season, but my leg was banged up really bad. Um, one challenge, I guess, got a bang, and it was a uh, – very like light infection nothing really bad in the real world but it was getting very bad had it happened earlier in the season it could have been a really big deal but it was so close to the end i'm, I'm limping and all the challenge. i'm falling off stuff that was the my leg um the last challenge that we were moving with the boards i hit my where it's the super sore spot and like i just jerked it reflex and flipped myself and then on that beam again i banged it um my balance is fine i promise it's just i had a little infection it wasn't a huge deal but out there they grow really fast and it was just towards the end so it didn't end up really affecting the okay so we're being told we're out of time so oh, okay. is there anything you want the fans to know about you that didn't get aired you know, the only thing is just i was a lot snarkier than they showed i was saying more funny stuff I was really upset that I came off so good. I wanted to be shown like kind of as a villain, but I mean, there's absolutely no way I can be upset. If not, uh, not Abby villain, but like kind of like a more, you know, cerebral type villain. And um, you know, like, there's no way I can argue with it. But if you're gonna do it, be prepared to look like anything. Because poor old Abby's just gotten a culture shock. Like, it's, people are not taking it well. If you're gonna do it, be prepared. And you said you do a good Abby impression. I mean, I do not want to say anything too mean about the girl because her friend is standing right over here, but, 
but uh, she's she's very sweet outside of the game. And when she is hungry and she has hurt her leg and people are talking bad about her behind her back, she is not so pleasant. But uh, outside of the game, only for a few hours at the time, charming girl. She'll charm you up. Malcolm, thank you so much. Thank you, Malcolm. Bye bye. It's good to see you. We're going back. <laughs> 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 he told us that. <laughs>